Good morning, Tuscany Heights. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Please stand for the pledges and remain standing for the mission statement in the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. We the Tigers will be inspired to lead, honor, and excel today. Thank you. Please repeat it on Tuesday. The Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks ten to nine. Also on Tuesday, the Giants beat the, the Giants beat the Braves six to five. That's your sports report for today. Off to you, Joseph. Thank you. Thanks, Grant. Top of the morning, Tigers. Today is traveling Thursday, and we'll be going across the Atlantic to beautiful Ireland. It is home to four point seven million people and it's known as the Emerald Isle for its green landscape. I got this fact from Pebble Go. Back to you, Mimi. Have a thrilling Thursday, Tigers. Now on to Miss Bailey and Miss Leon. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, families. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday, September 10th. We are excited to join you this morning for morning announcements. We have had a great two days with our phase one, and we will be reaching out very soon to those families that will be coming back on phase two. So if you are an in-person learning student or family, hang in there. Our hopes are to get you in as soon as possible. Yes, I'm very excited to have even more kiddos on campus. It's been so nice having I know. You. It's been great. Cafeteria duty has been fun with kids mm -hmm. in there. Yes. <laughs> you need to check in with them and I've heard lots of positives about how they're excited to be back on campus and this is working and we're making the best of it. So um, lots, lots of smiling eyes through those yep. masks that I'm seeing. So I love that. 
Um, so thank you for being patient with us. And as we are still making our journey through this pandemic and working to get our kids back on campus for those that want it. And we hope the virtual learning is beginning to settle down at home and we're getting some of those technology glitches worked through, but we know there's still some out there. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us, reach out to your teacher, reach out to administration, our counseling team. We are here to help troubleshoot and um, work to make that as successful as possible for our families that are virtual learners. Yep, absolutely. All right. All right. Got jokes? Yes. I have heard a lot about that too. The kids like our jokes. I know. My They're daughter was really it. disappointed to find out that I didn't make them up myself, <laughs> my first grader. <laughs> but uh, we have some really, really good sites and we are finding some good jokes to share with you guys. So we hope you are still liking that. Um, yeah. All right, you wanna go first, Miss Mion? Yes, okay, so mine says, why couldn't the pony sing a lullaby? <laughs> Why couldn't the pony sing? I don't know, it must have something to do with Nay. She was a little horse. <laughs> cute, that's cute. Okay, so mine is kind of like, let's see. I went to bugs and insects as science related because I used okay. to be a math science teacher. Um, so let's see here. Why did the fly never land on the computer? Why did the fly never land on the computer? He goes with our virtual learning. Because he didn't want to put a bug in it or bug it? Because he was scared of the World Wide Web. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, he might get stuck. It's true. I know. I'm really liking this one. So I have some more bug and insect ones as we move throughout this week and next week. Okay. <laughs> Bye, boys and girls. Bye.